I am Rijo and today I just plan to take the topic Azure App Service Deployment Slot. It's a continuity of my Azure App Service uh, section. Uh, so it's part of AZ104. So what is the learning objective today we are planning to discussing? Introduction of Deployment Slot means what is Deployment Slot and how to help you with the Deployment Slot for your uh, working uh, uh, the web app service. And next one, uh, deploy, demonstration, how to we can create the Deployment Slot. So let's we will go further each slide so first one we will discuss or what is deployment slot okay so deployment slot are separate environment within the app service that allow you to deploy a different version of your application so first i will show you one uh, demo so you can once you uh, deploy your application the azure portal and the app service will be generate the slot one is called a production slot okay so the production slot is live slot okay so you need to update uh, this app service if you have any update for this uh, app service how to we can do it very easily for in the deployment slot you can deploy new version of your app to the slot without impacting the main production app so once uh, uh, we will plan to decide we need to make any update for our uh, application we will create a another slot the another slot we will make like a uh, staging or testing environment so we are creating for the slot for another slot okay so you can see here another slot the each slot have the different dns okay url name so after you create your deployment slot then you make your uh, test environment slot then you will review once you have validate the new version you can swap the slot promote the new version of the your production so once you will review your uh, staging or test environmental application so this application you will uh, it's okay it's working product the testing is very fine so what is the next step you need to uh, deploy this uh, testing environment slot to the production environment right so it's very easy from this one just you just click the swap then automatically you can see here so now what happened your uh, testing environment application will be automatically swapped to the production slot so deployment slot allow you to deploy the new version of seamless without any downline so you can easily uh, swap the application without any downtime and also you can roll back previous version of cook if need any by swapping in the slot back so what mean once you swap your uh, application from the test or stagging environmental to the production if you face any problem uh, you can easily roll back you can easily roll back to the application for the again in the test environment and you can return back your uh, before the production copy to the uh, into the production slot so now you understand okay so already each slot have unique dns name right and then one of the deployment slot only for supporting for the standard premium and isolated uh, app service plan we'll discuss for our uh, next slide uh, how to we can uh, one demonstration uh, so demonstration create the deployment slot uh, what we are doing create one deployment slot in the azure portal and test the web app deployment so means we will create uh, one copy of the same application and we make one changes and then we will swap the uh, product test environmental to the production okay so let's we will go for the, our azure portal hi friends uh, now we reach our azure portal so i just plan to create the uh, deployment slot in the Azure service. So please watch my previous video. You can get the idea how to we can create the app service. Okay, so I am the previous video I described how to create the app service and how to deploy the application in the app service. Okay, so I just uh, go for directly for our uh, Rejo skill previously created app. So if you have any doubt, just visit my previous video. I will give the link in the below. So this one our app service Rejo skill. You can just click here already we deployed one uh, donut web application see this is our uh, already create the web application so just uh, go for here you can go here you can see your deployment just click your deployment slot so currently we do, we cannot create the deployment so what is the reason means currently we are using the plan uh, free plan basic plans only free basic plan so we don't get the deployment so what we we needed to at least upgrade to standard or premium or isolation so how to we can upgrade you can directly upgrade from here or you can directly go for here we can check uh, our 
So here you can see your app service plan is uh, free F1. So we need to scale up. Just to click the scale up. So currently we select the, the tick mark you can see. Currently we are in the free one. So we need to go to check the future view. You don't get the uh, slot. So what uh, plan only available for the standard as one. Well. So just to select your standard as one well and then select and upgrade your plan. So we now upgrade our plan. Okay, just waiting for the upgrade in our app service plan. Okay. So now our plan is updated. Update app service plan. Okay. So just again now you can go for your deployment slot. You can see. So now you can see our uh, Rejo skill production is running. The deployment slot is there. So what is your production web bar? This is your production web bar. So what is the next step we are doing? We will create one slot from here. Okay. So you need to give your slot name. I give it test. Okay. So what happened? You will get Rejo skill tested Azure website dot net. Okay. So next one cloned setting from if you need to uh, clone the setting from the previous Rejo skill. So app server is already there. You want to setting completely from the other. You just select it here and then add. Currently, I am not doing to the cloning, so I just do not clone. Okay, then I will just click add. So just waiting for for the uh, slot will be created. So now you can see here uh, your uh, slot will be test will be created successfully. So you can see here resort test already and resort skill is a production. So now we need to click our slot one. So you can see here test slot the same uh, service from the app service you are using in the previously the same copy you will get in the Rejo skill so you can see here uh, only change for the your default domain you can save the configuration backup custom domain scale up everything in the same and also you can see here app service the same copy you will get from the uh, Rejo skill uh, app service okay just to click here default uh, the link the domain so currently there we don't deploy any apps in the uh, deploy and the testing environment slot so we are only get the framework is running okay so just we so i just plan uh, to one thing so we are already deploy one application it's a resource so i just go for uh, re-edit some editive for our uh, previous app service uh, app uh, application so then i deploy in the uh, test resource skill okay so what we will do, we just firstly go for uh, our uh, Visual Studio code. If you are not familiar with the Visual Studio, please watch my previous video. I told you how to we can install and everything. So but now I directly go for our Visual Studio code. Then after that, you just click your file. Then just open your folder. If you already open here will become otherwise you just click open. So I just open my project environment just just open see now uh, our uh, video skill is open you can control our model view so I just go for our view view then after that home index page I just edit the index page just to welcome video skill okay after that i will stay then i just run this application you know the same application before we are deploying so i just only changes for the uh, just add one rejo skill so then you can understand the change so now what i do i just run this build this application after that this uh, app, app uh, the application will be deployed in our testing environment so just uh, now what happened uh, just the PowerShell will be exploring just wait see now our PowerShell terminal and now what I do I just build this application dot net run then click so now what happened we will make some uh, changes in our uh, app application before we are using so after that we will build you now now they start building for the changes is only welcome resource kit we will add only uh, some letters resource kit okay so just waiting for the deploy the building the application see now our uh, application building is completed just we will copy our 
URL. Then we will go for here. We will just run our URL. So here you can see the changes before welcome. Now we will add for the resources. So what we will plan? We needed to deploy this one in our staging environment. Okay, deployment slot. So just we will go for again Visual Studio Code. Then we will click in the Azure portal. Then here we can select your app service. So here you can select your app service Visual Skill. So just uh, click your Visual Skill. Here you can see the deployment. Just click the deployment slot. Then you can get the test. See now our test environment deployment slot is here. So what we will do, we just add the, this application to our test environment. So how to just click right click, so right click, then deploy to slot. So just select the folder, which folder you want to deploy. So just click deploy. So now our running pre-deployment task is published. So just to wait for the deployment will be completed okay so what we will do we will change this small changes the small changes we will now deploy in our uh, tested deployment slot okay so after that what will we do we will swap this test deployment slot to our production slot so just uh, wait for the complete deployment okay so just I click uh, our output window we can see here uh, the starting deployment creating this package this package size so just to wait for the completion of the deployment process see now our uh, finished the deployment successful so we just waiting for the output from the uh, because we can get to here one output the completion okay just waiting for the completion so see now the deployment is completed you can browse your website so now what i do i just go for our uh, portal the testing portal just to click here so this one Rejo skill test dot Azure website. So this is our uh, testing slot. We will just click our testing slot. See now the changes will be coming Rejo skill. So what our plan? We this is our uh, this is our production URL. You can see Rejo skill dot. This is our testing area. So what we need to do? We need to change this welcome Rejo skill. Uh, swap to our production environment. So the production environment will change it to Rejoski and this uh, testing environment will change it to welcome. Okay. So how to we can do swapping. Okay. Just to go for here. Just uh, select your uh, app service. So here you coming the app service. Rejoski is production. So what I now I just swap this Rejo test environment to Rejoski. So just to go for here. Just a refresh click swap okay just to click here swap so here you, you can see source and target where the source source in the resource skill test see resource skill test target where you want you want to changes in the resource skill production so now the source to target so what the changes target the changes is coming here okay so what we will do just to swap Click swapping. Then we will waiting for our swapping. Okay. After completion of swapping, we will check our URL. The changes will be coming here. Okay. See now our uh, successfully complete our swap between the slot test and the slot production. Okay. So we will go to check here. Why here no any changes? Because we are not change any configuration. So they are not showing any changes in the content because we are only changing one small changing we just edit our template page okay so just to close this one so just to go for overview so this is your uh, production url you can see here your production url to your skill assure just to click your production see now you can feel your changes you already before only welcome now to skill will be changed so whatever what happened you are testing in very minute just to refresh 
see now you are testing in variable only way welcome so you understand how to swap your application so just before our only welcome now we change it to rujo skill and whatever the application in the reproduction before we swap to okay so once you swap will be completed your deployment slot also complete if you need to roll back your swap you also you can be roll back or how to we can just click swap just select here your skill because if you face any problem in your uh, production you are not uh, satisfied with your uh, deployment slot you can easily verify easily uh, swap return back see uh, the source is resort test i will give it to target then i just click swap so after that what happened the same uh, welcome page will be returned back so if you face any problem or after swapping you are not uh, satisfied with your production uh, production slot so you can also reswap it okay so now i do the reswapping just to wait for then we can check it see now you can see here our uh, successfully completed swap between the two so just we will go for again our overview so just uh, click again rejo this one see now we easily return back because it, we, we previously you can see this is your home page eh? welcome back. because now i will again return back the swap so you can easily swap between the when you when you not satisfy with your production environment after swapping you can also swap easily return back okay so now you can go your test resort test environmental you just click here you can see the previous previous section will become welcome rejo skill see now, so now now you understand how to swap and how to create the deployment slot okay so now i wind up my topic i think everyone understand my video if you like my video please subscribe my channel and support me thank you so much